Hello, how are you doing? I am Dr. Will, and these are my three steps for engaging students. Number one, I believe that you need to create a culture of aspiration, meaning that your students have to know who they are, what they are, and what they are able to bring to table. And what this does is creates an ideal in their minds of what is able, what is possible for them, what they are able to achieve. Now, you can do this with culturally responsive teaching. You can do this by uh, giving your students access to mentors, you know, via community school partnerships or have, you know, experts come into your classroom via Google Hangouts. Zoom or any other video, Skype, a video, other, other video conferencing tool. But what you want to do is to get your students understanding that their dreams are attainable. Because here's the reality, teachers. I'm going to tell you something that hopefully you already know. But you cannot will your students to succeed. You cannot make them learn. They have to do the work. And so in a way of getting them to do the work is creating that culture of aspiration in your classroom. Because if they hope for it, if they see it, they can work for it. My second tip is creating a classroom full of student ownership. What I mean by that is if you are working harder than your students, you are doing too much. Your students have to own the learning, right? So I know this is cliche to say that your kids must be creating content that your students should go beyond just consuming facts and dates and content. And that is so true. You have to have your students and put them in the driver's seat of their learning. Now, and this is something at, just so simple of, if you are a history teacher, for example, your students can actually create a blog where they are assigned a historical figure. So let's say, for example, you are W.E.B. Du Bois. I want you to write a weekly blog post in the voice of Dr. E. W.E.B. Du Bois. So what, are, what is that student having to do? They have to research, okay? They have to do all kind of research about who W.E.B. Du Bois was. They have to read his work. They have to watch YouTube videos. They have to check uh, peer-reviewed journal articles, a lot of different things. And then they have to sit down and work on synthesizing that information, being creative, writing those blog posts, working on writing skills, creativity, et cetera, all of the skills that people are saying, these are 21st century skills, are skills that are needed in the workplace. And they're also with that blog are posting to a, an original audience. The last thing I will say, because I know this video is probably longer than what I was probably asked to do, is to create a culture of never quit. Never quit. Don't quit on your students and don't allow your students to quit on themselves. Always tell your students that they have to show up no matter what. They have to show up no matter what. And if they don't show up, love them, hug them, but hold them accountable. If you allow them to quit on themselves, they will always quit on themselves. So make sure they show up and you demand that they do not quit on themselves, but that they show up every day. 
So those are my three tips for engaging students.